In recent years, odometry has quickly become a component that many FTC teams wish to have. Odometry is essentially the use of data from motion sensors to estimate change in position over time. In FTC, this is commonly done by placing three dead wheels on the bottom of your robot, two vertical and one horizontal. These wheels are not connected to an actual motor, but rather an encoder. Their sole purpose is to measure the rotations and help calculate where the robot is at at any given time. With odometry, we know the location and heading of the robot at any given time. To translate encoder values to sensible numbers, we developed an algorithm called Robot Coordinate Position. This program takes known constants such as encoder wheel size, robot size, drive motor values, and more to convert encoder values to inches. Once we know exactly where we are, we can start using that data to move precisely. We can also save our current position and heading to a JSON file so that when we transition from autonomous to teleop, we know exactly where we are. We also have a program called Master Caleb, which helps us fine tune all of these values and create a bot profile. This profile includes information such as motor reduction, braking values, and more so that the robot moves as intended and doesn't skew left or right or drift. We get these values by having the robot execute a certain move such as a spin 90 degrees or move forward and backwards 3 feet at a variety of speeds. Once the robot is done executing the movement, using our exact position, we look at our margin of error and calculate what changes need to be made to the bot profile. With this, our robot movements are even more precise. Knowing where we are is helpful, but what we do with that information is even more important. Odometry allows the robot to make precise and autonomous movements. To make these calculated movements, we created a variety of functions in our base robot class. These functions take in speed, target position, heading, and calibration settings as parameters to get the robot from the current position to the target position using basic movement techniques such as straight, curve, diagonal, strafe, and spin. Here are a couple of examples of these functions. As you can see, using the odometry values, we can calculate the distance to get from our current position to our target position. Going into a loop, we start to accelerate till we get to our desired speed and then slow down once we approach our target. And then when we reach the target, we stop. This acceleration and deceleration helps prevent overshooting. For more complex movements like curve and diagonal, we use basic geometry to calculate our trajectory. We have linked a paper in the description which details this map. Using these variety of functions, our robot can move from point A to B accurately and efficiently. If you have any questions about how we do odometry, feel free to add them in the comments below.